super hot out here and I really want to get out here uh, to film for you guys to show you that you don't have to have a very, very expensive rig in order to catch bass. All right, y'all, what is up? It is Wednesday and I am back out here in the heat. I went to a local store and bought a $30 spinning rod. I want to see if the rod is worth what I paid for it. And see if we can hook up on a bass out here there again, the rod is only 30 bucks. And I have on it 10 pound braid and a litter. Now, thing is, the wind right now is insane. So hopefully, I can cast out and not have to worry about getting that back in my face. So I'm going wacky. There again, 30 bucks. This is a 6.6 six, medium fast two piece for travel, compact. So, we'll put on a watermelon red thank you and see what happens when you find a rod for 30 bucks. And the reel was only $24. It really makes a wonder if I buy it and I hook up onto a fish, can I get it in? So it casts good. I have on 10 pound braid. That way I can actually see my line. Normally I really don't like having a rod and two, but being portable and compact will be a big help when I'm traveling. Going here, going there. Oh my God, it got slammed. That was a crappie. Dude, no freaking way. No, a bass. Sweet. Right on. The rod held up good. Oh, there it goes. Hold on, bud. Sweet. Little guy. But hey, a fish is a fish. So... I like it. I like it. It's really only a six, six, but it has a lot more stiff uh, feeling than a normal rod that is the small. So in short, check casting check hook set close up now when i set the hook right near shore it's good but how 
about out far. I'll see if I can get a good hook set out far away. Oh my God. I got nailed. Did I take my bait? Holy crap. Yep, took my worm. All right, well, I'm throwing a wacky and normally I like the O-ring on my wacky, but um, it is, there are tons of weeds out here all over the pond. So, I'm trying to let that Senko go down a little bit, but not get hung up on the weeds. Because my hook is exposed, it will get hung up pretty quick. I know they're hungry. The thing casts like no problem at all. Other than my dark demon, this is by far the most compact rod that I have. Oh my God, God. Came off. Dude, that was a giant. That was a freaking hammer. You have got to be kidding me. Come back. What a freaking pig that was. I hope the camera got that. I'm glad I put on a heavy leader. I put on 20 pound because the fish are fat in here. One more and then we're gonna bounce. I want to keep the videos on hot days quite short and to the point. Oh my gosh, it got freaking hammered again, right there. Right freaking there. What is out there? Weeds? A big clump of weeds, maybe? They're waiting to spot some food coming by and they freaking hammer it. That weeds. Yep, there are weeds down there. That's what we don't want. Well, man, that thing cast like almost all my braid can, oh my God. So I got a good hook set far away and it was running right at me. Oh, it came off. Dang it. I think I may have the wrong hook on it. Oh, duh, that's why. The hook was completely turned sideways. Okay. Try again. The rod is actually quite stiff right here. So it has quite a bit of beef for a hook set far away. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, 
What is going on, guys? I gotta wait, I guess. Time down out of drag. Come on, fish. I'll see ya. I'll see ya. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? The reel is super smooth. There we go. Got him. Good hook of that. Good hook of that. He won't go on nowhere. Nowhere. Sweet. I want one a bit bigger than that one. So, one more. One more. How far? Well, they're wanting my worm. Next time, I'm putting on the O-rings. Wacky, wacky. That's why I get packs of 30. They don't last long. All right. Let's get one out there. Far away. And see how the hook of that goes. One rod, Wednesday. They are being stubborn. There we go. Money. Money cast. Right out in front of that tree. Let that flutter down. Would I prefer a longer rod? Yes. I'm not a big fan of short rods, but for 30 bucks and it's compact, you really cannot complain. Good stuff end over here on the back. It casts great. All we're having to uh, show right now is can you get a good hook set from far away? Here we go, guys. Long hook set. Got him. Got him. Good one. Freaking good one. Now, if I can keep him on, if I can keep him on the line. Oh, yeah. He is pissed. Heck yeah, dude. Long hook set. Right in the mouth. Oh boy, he ain't going nowhere. Right on. All right, so got the hook out. He is swimming around. Took it a bit deep, but I cut the line, brought the hook up through the gills, and left a tag end. So I could pull the hook and then turn in a circle, cam right out, swam off, good to go. All right, one more cast. I'm very, very happy with this rod. Very happy. It is hot, hot, hot today. It's like 97. Watermelon red, even in murky water. They'll find it. One more fish, come on. I had one bite out there. Wacky rig getting it done on a windy, windy, hot, 
humid day. Come on, fish, where are you? They are roaming around looking for food. I love that high veil. Oh, that darn tree got in the way. Oh, it broke me off. Nope, took my worm. Took my worm. Dag gummit. Took my worm. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Good. Oh, yeah. Right on the bottom of the lip. The biggest one of the day. Pretty. Gosh. Sweet, guys. Great way to end our little one rod review of today i hope that you enjoyed hit that like button if you want to see more reviews that are friendly to your wallet right on thank you bud thank you sweet right on super hot out here and i really want to get out here uh, to film for you guys to show you that you don't have to have a very very expensive rig in order to catch bass there again $30 rod okay and a $24 Shimano 1,000 size reel. 10 pound braid going right past that wood clump. pound braid yellow and in color <laughs> wacky hooked very finesse oh logo 